I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy, and this is your BOSU workout. So, if you're not familiar with the BOSU, it's a half ball. You may have seen it at your gym. Um, hopefully, if you're doing this, you have one at home. Um, it stands for both sides up. So, you, it's a balanced tool, first and foremost. So, I really want to stress safety. If you're not comfortable with um, some of the balance stuff, when we go up on top of it, I'm going to give you options to do down on the ground and just work to your level. But by all me means, please be careful. The balance is a little tricky. That's what makes our core work so hard, but safety first. And I'll give you options. So, a couple quick things to remember and then we'll get started. We're gonna do some step up type things. Some things to remember is to keep your weight low and forward the whole time. When we're gonna get off balance is when we straighten up. So if you can keep it forward, you're never fully extending out in that leg, keep your weight forward, and of course, abs in tight. I say that all the time anyway, but especially on the BOSU, that's what we're working. So we're gonna do everything with just the BOSU and body weight, but I'll talk you through some options that where you could add some dumbbells if you had them. So we're gonna start just standing behind your BOSU. The BOSU's on the floor, and we're just gonna start little taps. It's just our little warm up. Deep breath in, and out. One more, and out, and a couple quick rolls through the shoulders, and to the front. And like everything else, guys, if you're not comfortable doing something, take a break, grab some water, do something totally different. I don't care, just be safe, just keep moving. Okay, so we're here, and we're gonna add some arms to it, and if you wanna take it up a notch to get a little cardio, we're just gonna do little soccer taps. So you may remember these from our soccer video. Just tapping right on top, really force yourself to try to get to the center of the ball. It's gonna work a little more legs and hip flexors and get that heart rate up. Four, three, two, and one, good. Excellent, so we're gonna move to the side for a little bit of legs. So I'm gonna turn mine where I have a little space, but also where I'm not gonna step on those edges. So one foot right on top in the center, other foot is parallel, so just like we're doing a regular squat, we're gonna drop it down and bring it up, down, and bring it up. So just like every other squat we do, really get low, push through the heels, especially that foot that's on the ball. Chest is lifted, but you're getting low, breathing out. Excellent. We're gonna do a little sequence here, so should really feel it in both legs, but especially that top leg. We'll go three more, and heart rate should be up. Two. Good, so keep it there if you want, or squat it down, step it up. Again, just what we talked about, really stay low and forward. Don't wanna come up all the way and get off balance. Keep it low. And if you wanna just keep the squat, stay on the ground, that works too. Keep breathing. So this is where if you wanted to add some bicep curls, that would work too if you had dumbbells. We'll be doing another video later with dumbbells, don't worry. One more thing, if you want, side leg lift. So you don't have to go super high, just squeeze in the hip. We're getting outer thigh and glutes and obliques, and then you can feel this leg burn, right? Whew, here we go. Eight, seven, six. That leg makes us want to get high, but stay low. Four, three, two, excellent. Good work, guys. We're gonna move around to that other side. Just little taps on the back before so we shake out that leg. Another thing I forgot to say, guys, in the beginning, if you have some issues with the balance, one thing you can always do is put your BOSU next to the wall. So you could grab on, let's say my BOSU is here, and that gives you a little help. Or next to a chair, something sturdy, that gives you a little help as well. Okay, let's move to that other side. Hopefully you don't have to move yours. Toes are parallel. Drop it low in the squat. So as you can tell, really keeping that heart rate up. Everything is working harder because all these muscles are having to work to stabilize because of the instability of the ball. 
It's one thing I always say to clients, you should feel unstable on the BOSU, that's the point. So don't feel like you're doing it wrong because you don't feel super stable. Your muscles should be feeling like it's hard to stay balanced, that's what we want. Let's squat it down and step it up right here. Down, tap it up. Again, if this feels like too much, you can keep that squat. Just really dig into that heel. And if you want, you could add some bicep curls. If you had dumbbells, totally up to you. Excellent. Keep breathing. And we'll go four, three, two. Let's add that side leg. So down, little lift. And I'm just kind of moving my hands back. That sort of helps me stay balanced. Totally up to you. You want to take them out? That helps you, or just keep them center. We'll go eight, squeeze. Squeeze in this hip and outer thigh. Push off this heel. Four, three, two, and one. Excellent, guys, shake that out. Good little burn there. So really burning out that top leg. Little taps again. We're gonna move to a little bit of arms that's gonna turn into full body. You know how I roll. Breathe. Four, three, two. Good, so let's flip our BOSU over. I'm gonna bend my knees to do it. Don't bend in your back. Both sides up. We're gonna grab the BOSU on the side, so we're gonna work it the other way. So let's turn from the side first. So just a little half squat. The BOSU drop in front and bring it in. So this is sort of a bicep curl, like we're curling here into a row. So down, curl. BOSU's coming in front and bring it up. So we're also getting a little bit of a deadlift for those hamstrings. Good, guys. Work in the arms, work in the legs. Let's add a little press to it. So down, bring it in, little lift. You don't have to go high. I know that's a little awkward to hold. And if you want to do it without that press, totally fine. Or if you want to do the motion without the squat, I know our legs are tired, we can just go down, in, up. Good, couple more. Two. Last one. Good, so you feel a lot of arms on that, right? So you can keep that, or I'm gonna give you one more option. I'm gonna drop it down, take it back, push up, jump it in, and then bring it up just like you did. Up and press. Or, step it back, if you want a lower impact version, push it up, walk it in, bring it up. So any of those options will do. Go at your own pace. You can do that full burpee push up, jump it in from here, make sure your back is flat, bring it in, press it up, or lower impact, just stepping back, still getting that good push up, walking it in. Also, if you wanna do it without the push up, or drop to your knees, that's totally fine. Tons of options. As long as you're moving, that's all we care about. And again, guys, I could feel it as I got tired. When I came back in, I wanted to have a round the back where they pulled in. Let's go one more. It's a great full body exercise. Ricky push up. Breathe, drop that down, catch your breath, guys. You should feel a lot of heart rate on that, just tap it out, lots of arms, and then legs as well. So breathe for a second. We're gonna come to that step up again. This time we're gonna come from the back. So instead of that squat motion, it's a little bit of a lunge motion. I'm gonna show you from the side. This is a little tougher on balance, so if you need that wall or that chair, grab it if you need to, or you can always take it to the floor. Cut gym dirt on me. So here, even just here, you're gonna feel a little unsteady. That's work in that leg, strengthening the knee. Tap it up, tap it down. So we're gonna start with the tap up because that's actually easier than trying to do a lunge. So we'll just keep it going forward and back. As you can tell, my front leg isn't moving very much and I'm not dropping down to a full lunge. Balance, whew. If you don't concentrate, that's what happens. 
And if this feels like too much, guys, just take it to the floor. You can always take a break from the balance. Come back to it when you go to the mat. And we'll go four more. Four, three, two. So let's keep it here. We're gonna add a little lift with the glute, lift with the arms. So up. Again, I'm keeping my weight forward. If I had dumbbells, I can make it a little raise. Breathe. Lots of legs, lots of abs, really concentrate. This should be hard if it's your first time. So close, guys. And go eight, seven, six. Again, if it feels like too much, just take it off the bosu onto the floor. Four, three, two. Excellent, good, relax. Shake it out, I'm sweating. Tap it behind. Do the same thing other side. So I'm gonna move this way so you can see me. Other leg on, this is my right, should be easier. Tap it up, tap it down. Weight is forward the whole time. And again, you will feel unsteady. That's muscles working, core is working. Knees and ankles, all your joints are really getting strengthened with this balance work. Use BOSUs a lot in rehab and physical therapy. For eight, seven, six, five, perfect. Four, three, just like everything else with balance, helps to find a focus point. Focus on that, that helps with balance. Let's stay here, lift it up. Arms and leg, little glute squeeze in the back. You're not coming up super high. Just reach and kick. What we don't want to do, guys, is bend. Keep it steady. Here we go. Push off the top one. Squeeze in the glute in the back. Last eight, almost there. Eight, seven. Again, if you had dumbbells, you'd just be going level with the shoulders. Without them, you can go a little higher. Four, three, two. Perfect. Shake it out. Good work, guys. So one last little cardio thing before we take it down. Slide it over to the side because we're going to go over. I'm going to show you from the back first. If you don't want to use the BOSU, step it, step it in, step it out. So this is your low impact, no balance version. Again, if you need a break, from the balance. If you can, step it over, step it over. This is your first option. Or a little more of a jump. Totally up to you. Legs are gonna be working because we're landing in the squat. And even though you're coming up at the top, not all the way, stay low. But again, feel free to just step it if that feels a little better, or keep it on the floor. The last big push for cardio before we take it down to the mat. Here we go. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Good work, team. Grab a sip of water, grab a mat. We're going to bring it down with the BOSU on the mat. Okay, guys, so we're down on the mat now on the BOSU. So start seated on top. I'm gonna show you how to get into a crunch position. So you're just gonna come down forward just a little bit. So you're not seated on the mat. You're just on the lower part of the BOSU. And then I'm coming down. So I wanna think from the bottom of my shoulder blades to the back of my hips are on the ball. We're gonna do a basic BOSU crunch. So hands behind the head, even just holding it here, you'll feel your abs working. But here, I'm just gonna lift and lower. So the key to all crunches, but especially on the ball, is don't think about lifting your shoulders, think about pulling your abdominal muscles in. So I'm imagining that there's a string on my belly button pulling my abs through the mat, through the BOSU to the mat, I should say. My elbows are wide, my head is in neutral spine, and I'm breathing out on my way up. So what we don't wanna do is come here. So what we're doing when we do that is we're using the hip flexor. You can feel how when you get to here, it feels a little easier. And what we also don't want to do is be so far back 
that we're lifting using our neck from here. So you want to be sort of right in the center, little lift. And usually you can feel these pretty quickly on the BOSU. So we're starting really small, and then let's go up for two. So we'll go up for two, down for two. Again, on that two count especially, pulling the belly button in. We don't want to be pushing the mu muscle out, we want to be pulling it in. Breathe out at the top. Good, guys. And we'll go two more. And last one. Good, so you should feel that pretty quickly. Don't feel like you're a wimp if that was really burning because it was burning for me. So we're gonna sit a little more forward from where you are and just bring a knee in one at a time. Really small, I'm kind of going halfway back with my upper body. You'll feel those lower abs engaged. If you wanna have the hands for support, you can do that too if you wanna go back a little further or if you just wanna keep it high and pull the belly button in, lower abs. Again, you're at the bottom of the BOSU, but you're not off of the BOSU. Your whole body is on. We'll go four, three, two, good, and relax. You can stretch it over. So let's give our abs a little break. We're gonna turn into the ball. I'm going to bring my elbows on into a plank position. So this is a lot of core, a lot of upper body. So we're here, either your knees or your toes. You can try both, see what works for you. And I'm gonna come up on my hands and down on my elbows. And then I'm gonna switch and lead left, right, left, right. If that feels like too much, take it to your knees. Up, down, up, down. Either one, you'll still feel your core. Try to be on your toes if you can. You're gonna get a lot more work through the arms and the abs. But if you feel unsteady, because this is gonna feel unsteady, that feels like too much, then just keep it down on the knees. You're still getting the work. And if this feels like too much for the arms and the wrist, you can just hold the plank as well. Everything's pulled in. Couple more. Pushing through the resistance of the ball. Your ball might have more air than mine. I probably need to pump this one up soon. And then let's just hold it here for the plank. So breathe, we won't hold very long because I know they're tired. Four, three, two, relax, stretch it back. Whew. So let's go back to our crunch position really quick. One more set of crunches. Just giving him a break. I know that wasn't really a break for your abs, was it? I kind of lied there. So in your crunch position, we're gonna put our left arm out, right hand behind the head, and just crunch up. So it's a little cross crunch, lifting the shoulder. Start with that, and then if you want, bring the elbow to the knee, extend the leg out. Totally up to you. You can keep just one, just your upper, this is your modified version, or everything in, everything out. And if you want more of a challenge, try to bring that elbow on the outside of the knee. You'll feel a little extra in those obliques. Four more, four. This hand is just here for balance. Try not to push with it. That's why I like to have it up. And relax, stretch. On the BOSU. You don't really need much to really feel those abs. Other arms out, just crunch it up. This side is gonna feel harder because you just did the other side, which is actually working all through the abs. If you want, bring it in. Elbow to knee. And if you want the challenge, take it, try to touch on the outside. Here we go. Almost there. Four more. Four, three, two. Good, relax. Stretch that out, I feel that. Excellent job, guys. So come back over on your knees. One more thing for upper body from here. And again, 
knees or toes, doesn't matter. You'll have one hand on top, one hand down to the side. You can either be on your knees or be on your toes. I'm gonna do a push up, then I'm gonna walk it over and do a push up. That feels like too much. You can be from the knees, just walk it over. Try to get low in that push up. I know our arms are tired. We did a bunch of push ups in the first half. That's okay. If you feel like you're starting to use your back, drop to those knees. Four. Press it over. Three. Oh, I'm tired. Two. Last one. And relax. Big stretch back. Excellent work, team. Whew. One more thing from this position, except we're going to flip it over. So working the abs, adding the obliques. We're going to come up on our toes, holding those handles. Sometimes that's a little bit weird. You can just have your hands. I prefer the handles. So we're here, just holding. And then if you want, we're going to add knees coming across. So it's going to move a little bit. That's OK. That's what we want. Little twist, twist. If you want to keep it small, keep those feet on the ground and just twist the knees and the hips. If you want more, really bring it across. It's going to feel like you're falling, but trust me, you won't go anywhere. Here we go. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Perfect. And relax. Stretch it back. Okay, so let's flip it back over. Down on your back. We're almost there. On your back, we're going to bring the feet on top. Feet are in close. And just a little hamstring bridge. Lift and lower. This should feel easy in comparison to all those push-ups. Really lift, squeeze in the glutes, squeeze in the hamstrings, pull the core in. Squeeze. Two more from here, and then we're gonna isolate one side and then the other. Almost done, I promise. So let's take the right leg up, lift from that left leg. You may wanna move that foot a little closer to the center. Really squeeze, push through the resistance of the ball. Breathe. Last three, two, one. Good, let's switch sides. Other leg for 10, left leg up, right leg on. So these bridges would be a time that you could add if you had dumbbells, a chest press, or some triceps. Again, we'll add another video later with that. Push through the heel. Two more. And relax, bring those feet up, stretch them up. Let's get one last thing since we're here. Let's turn over on our side into a side plank. My feet are on, cross it over, my elbows here. Lift up and hold. If that feels like too much, just drop the knee. That's okay too. But if we can, we're just gonna lift. And just hold, breathe. Excellent. Keep breathing. We'll go four, three, two, and one. And just flip over other side. I'm just gonna do that just to keep it easy. Cross the top leg over, lift up and hold. If you need a little extra, you can drop that knee. And then if you want to bring that hand up, you can, or drop it down, making sure you're breathing. Just be careful you have a boxing bag in the way. Four, three, two, and relax. Excellent work, guys. So let's bring it in really quick. Just sit on your BOSU, one leg out, reach. Fold it over. The is just getting you a little higher. Just to really breathe into that. Let your head and your neck relax. So if this is your first time on a BOSU ball, don't worry. 
the balance part gets easier. As you can tell from me, it's still gonna be challenging even if you've done it a million times like I have, but you do get a little more comfortable with it, but your muscles stay challenged. It's a really great tool for core and to challenge all of your muscles. Reach it forward, chin to your chest, like we do all the time, but really press into the ball, press your shoulders down, let your head relax. And then bring it up slowly. Whew. Deep breath in. And that is your Bosu workout. Great job, everybody.